This is the story of an old man and the trade he makes. Of the lives he hurts. Of the lust of a demigod. And the realm he resides in. This is the tale of the dead man's trade. Here is where the old man named Emil lived, in a quiet hamlet, in an elegant house. Over the years he had learned of black magic, the old laws, and an ancient talisman that opened a doorway in his room to the land of the dead by breaking down the veil of reality, summoning the king of the dead. Admires Emil's granddaughter, Elena. However, I will trade in exchange for the burdening hand of your granddaughter in marriage. And on the last days of autumn upon your death, I will come for her, and she will be my bride, and I will reward you, my friend, with half a century of life. Do oh, we have a deal? Good. They shake hands. And with the deal done, he vanishes into ash. Elena's sister, Lenka, could not believe what she saw, while spying through the keyhole. It was the end of summer, and love was in the air for Elena. And here, under the apple tree, her love Leos proposed to her, offering his soul and being to her. And she accepted his commitment with all her love, and his beating heart. But Leos' soul wasn't long for the world, and his heart wouldn't beat for her any longer. Leos was murdered on the road to the village by a bandit that was paid by Emil to keep her unwed, ready for the trade. Through autumn, Elena wept for Leos. Her sister came to comfort her. She finally spoke to her of what she saw that day. And Elena told Lenka of her own secret. And so the day came, on the last day of autumn, surrounded by his granddaughters and their seething hate. Emil drew his very last breath and died of old age. Elena was taken to the underworld. On a carriage, driven by a forgotten beast, into the unknown, alone. While Emil awoke from his eternal rest, breathing in his new youth. And now, Elena was on her way. To her groom, to her fate, riding through the dead world, she saw strange and wonderful things, frozen forgotten ships, seas of flame, and the passing of walking cadavers, lost soldiers from old wars, the murdered, the sentenced, and the slain, that wandered the wastes of the land, neglected and forgotten. She arrives at Death's Palace, a cold, giant structure made from the ground bones of dead souls. He awaits her arrival and greets her as a gentleman. However, looking closer, staring at her being, he could see not one soul, but two. I'm with child. She says, two hearts beating in one body, a new soul shining.
and he left, leaving Elena alone in the eternally forgotten world. But she knew, in her heart, she could find him again. At his house, Emil gloated at his new youth, able to breathe without coughing, able to see without squinting, and able to walk without a cane. But his youth was not to age. Death rose from the ground in livid anger. You broke the deal, Emil. She was not pure. Your soul is mine. And with a slice of his scythe, killed him, ending the deal. Claiming his revenge, Death returned to the underworld, taking Emil's soul with him. Lenka and her daughter stood by Emil's corpse. And although Elena was gone, she might have helped save her niece from a similar fate. Sadly, Elena was lost to the land of the dead. With no map or direction, she finally collapsed to the ground in exhaustion. And then a shadow moved over her torn state. It was Leos. He had finally found her in his new world, dead but alive to this plane of existence. Because of her love, she decided to stay with him and their new child. Here in this world of the forgotten, the undead, under the shadow of gods, forever.